continue, Sir Henry. Well, sir, on first sighting the French, I naturally gave the order to advance. That's my style, sir. The South Essex crossed over the bridge and engaged the enemy. Major Lennox panicked. So then I fell back in good order and destroyed the bridge, sir. <clears throat> I have written to Horse Guard, sir, to state that the South Essex acquitted itself most commendably in discharging both your general orders to engage the enemy and your particular order to destroy the bridge, sir. <clears throat> Did any officer distinguish himself? Lieutenant Gibbons led the advance, sir. You may say that he is uh, tied to me by blood. But is it a tie of blood to tie my tongue and rob a brave man of his just reward? No, sir. I recommend Lieutenant Gibbons be gazetted captain, sir. And Lieutenant Sharp? Lieutenant Sharp did it, sir. He was cut off when we destroyed the bridge. This is a report from Major Hogan, which differs somewhat from your account, Sir Henry. Major Hogan is merely an engineer, sir. Major Hogan's coat buttons up tight over a number of other duties, Sir Henry. Major Hogan reports a number of losses, Sir Henry. He says you first lost your head, and instead of destroying the bridge, you marched over it. He says you then lost your nerve and ran from a small French patrol. He says you lost ten men, a major, and two sergeants. He says you finally lost your sense of honor and destroyed the bridge, cutting off a rescue party led by Lieutenant Sharp. Major Hogan leaves the worst to the last. He says you lost the king's colors. The fault was not mine, sir. Major Lennox must answer. Major Lennox answer with his life, as you should have done if you had any sense of honor. You lost the colors of the king of England. You disgraced us, sir. You shamed us, sir. You will answer. The South Essex is stood down in name. If I wipe the name, I may wipe the shame. I am making you a battalion of detachments you will fetch and carry. The light company put up a fight, so I will let it stand under the command of a new captain. To be commanded by the newly gazetted Captain Gibbons? To be commanded by the newly gazetted Captain Sharp, sir. I have a cousin at Horse Guard, sir. And I have friends at court. A man who loses the king's colors loses the king's friendship. You have two choices. To hide in England or be a hero in Spain. I shall help you to be a hero. We had a skirmish with the French today. Tomorrow we shall have a battle. You will be the first to see a French column, sir. It is not a pretty sight. What you do then, sir, is up to you. Good morning. I can make you a captain, but I cannot keep you a captain. There is talk about an Imperial Eagle Sharp. There is talk of a promise made to the late Major Lennox. Tell me on oath that the talk is just idle gossip, Sharp, or by God, sir, I promise you will walk out of that door a lieutenant. I swear on oath that no one heard me make any promise in respect of an Imperial Eagle to Major Lennox, sir. Colonel Lawford. Sir. You may escort Captain Sharp to the door, Colonel Lawford. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hogan. Let the French know that the fool who lost the colours is holding our flank. But, sir, that means sending a French column against... If Hogan's spies can spin a good yarn... 
Major Lennox was a damn fine officer. Did I ever tell you the story of how he steadied the line at Assay, Hogan? No, sir. You're a damn liar, Hogan. That's what you pay me for, sir. <laughs> <laughs>